Welcome to the Land House YouTube channel. I am Seth. So the company Relibat just sent over a lithium iron phosphate battery that is Bluetooth and also self-heating. They asked that I take a look at it and uh, mention it here on the channel. And so that's what I'm going to do in this video. Uh, so I've never used a self-heating battery before. So typically your lithium iron phosphate is going to uh, stop charging at 32 degrees and stop being uh, usable at like 14 degrees or so. Uh, some of them go down to as, like as low as four degrees or something. But anyway, uh, this one right here is supposed to heat itself up from uh, basically 32 degrees uh, so that it can be used. So. Uh, we're going to take a look at its features here and see what it's all about. I'm already seeing a crack here in the uh, the top, so that's disappointing. But anyway, uh, we'll go over that in just a bit. Um, it did give a nice little instruction manual to hopefully get us started here. Um, so I've already I've used my old phone that I uh, fly drones with um, to download the app so we can monitor this and uh, just see how well it works. Um, but anyway. Let me read this instruction real quick, and then we will take a deep dive into how this battery uh, functions. It's 25 degrees in the shop right now, and it's supposed to get down to about 18 tonight. Um, so I figure tomorrow will be a perfect time to test out this when it's well below freezing. Let's take a look at the case itself. So it has a handle that folds out up here in the top, so you can carry it. It weighs 25 pounds, so not terribly heavy. You've got your red indicator for the positive terminal over here. It has a crack in the case that runs from right over here down to over here, damaged and chipping. Over here, it's got your black, which is your negative. On the front, you've just got your information. Lithium iron phosphate has the Rely Bat logo right there. Model is RE12-100BL. The BL, I assume, stands for Bluetooth. Down here, smart Bluetooth, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, uh, 1280 watt hour, and it's got the uh, address that you can go look up this battery. So that's what we have there. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the app, and we'll do all of the uh, cold weather stuff tomorrow. I just wanted to get this part done tonight before it is terribly cold. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the app. And uh, if you're on Android, you have to actually uh, get a rare file, unzip it, give permissions, and install it. If you're on the iOS, you can actually go into the uh, App Store and just get it that way. But So anyway, it's called Battery Monitor BL, and it looks something like this right here. So the operating uh, distance from the battery, it says it is uh, 5 meters, which seems like a, uh, a good bit. Uh, so anyway, let me go in here and turn on my Bluetooth. And then go here, let's see what we got. All right, so it has already picked up the uh, Z12100035. So we are close enough to access this. First time trying this, so it's actually uh, pretty cool that it popped up immediately. While that's pairing, let me read this first page here. The bulk and absorption is uh, going to be set between 14.2 volts and 14.6. Uh, let's see, didn't uh, accept that one. Let's try it again. I'm going to put this on top and see if that makes a difference. The float value, 13.4 volts and 13.8 volts. Uh, recommended charge current, 5 amps to 30 amps. So for connections, this is new to me. Um, it says fully charge your batteries separately. Connect your batteries one by one in parallel. Leave them together for 12 to 24 hours. Then connect your batteries in series or in parallel. So I've never used the lithium iron phosphate battery in, um, in parallel. So uh, it should be interesting or in series to get uh, 48 volt. Uh, so it says... Uh, to connect the batteries in series or in parallel, please make sure the batteries are the same capacity from the same brand. The uh, BS series batteries are designed to be used with a maximum of four units connected in series or parallel. All right, the reason it was not connecting is because you have to allow some permissions for it to uh, find location. And uh, this phone, I don't think even has the ability to find location. 
I just had to turn that on and it worked. All right, it says it is 56% charged. The volts are currently 13.15 and the temperature is six degrees Celsius, which is about 42 degrees. So that right there uh, just shows that it's working. Now it's been up in my upper shop and I would say that's about right for temperature. Um, so I'm gonna leave this out here tonight. It's supposed to get down to 18 degrees and uh, there's no heat out here. It should get a lot colder than the 32. So, all right, well, we now know that the app is working correctly and it is showing uh, the information that it is supposed to. So that being said, uh, we're gonna stop right there and then come back tomorrow morning. This thing should be nice and cold and we will see if it will charge if it charges, we may need to do this test again another night. I'll leave it outside where it gets really cold and then we'll let this thing warm itself up whenever I hook it up into the solar panels. It's a couple days later. The temperature was around 16 degrees last night. Uh, let's see what we got right now. I'm gonna go ahead and touch these and see what my voltage is based on the meter. We've got 12.6 volts here. Let me see if I can pick this up so you can see that display. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see here. Yeah, 12.6. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so let me pull up the app again. I've had the phone inside, so it shouldn't uh, have any problems here. I've got to turn it back on. Hold on. Let me bring the battery monitor app back up here and see if it will go ahead and auto connect. Okay, you do have to touch it there. All right, it says 56% charged still, which is good. And temperature, negative 2C. Awesome. That means we should be able to plug this up and see it heat up. So let me go ahead and turn off my shop or my studio lights here, and we will see if this will heat up from negative 2 to uh, a temperature that will charge here. I've got my studio lights hooked up to a power station. So let me get you down here real quick so we can see what's going on. The first thing I wanna do is cut the power from the solar out there. And that's going to bring my uh, charge controller down to zero and it's resting now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that off. All right, so everything is off now. So I can move my other battery off of this system and hook up the Reliabat down here. All right, I've loosened up, no I haven't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna loosen up my negative and positive terminals here. Looks like they do come with a couple of washers, which is nice. And I'll go ahead and get those loose. Black goes over here on the negative. I'm gonna tighten these up just a little bit. Okay, it's still showing negative 2C, which is about 18 degrees, as far as I remember right. Uh, so, let me go ahead and turn back on the charge controller. Let's do that right here. We'll let that boot up for just a second. And the display is showing 12.5 volts, which is pretty close to what we were getting with the multimeter. So let's go ahead and turn on the solar breaker here and we'll see what happens when this thing self heats. All right, so just kicked on from solar. It's saying it is doing a bulk at seven watts, eight watts. So let's step down here to the app and see what's going on. All right, currently it says temperature is still negative two. It's got some information on the various cells in here. All right, so let's give this a moment. It does say 13.08 volts now, and we're gonna see if this thing's going to heat up or what's gonna happen here. It's been around five minutes. I've seen 4.7 amps with uh, 65 or so watts coming in. And taking a look at the app here, the temperature has dropped to uh, negative one C, so it does seem to be heating up. So let's go ahead and give that a few more minutes 
and uh, see what this goes up to. 13.09 volts instead of 13.08. So it is uh, not pulling anything into the battery yet and uh, hopefully just warming it up. You can see my 14.4 volts here on the battery in Absorb. I've got my uh, charge controller set to uh, about 13.5, I believe it was, 13.6 for the float value. And then uh, for the, uh, let's see, bulk and absorb, I've got it at 14.3. So the range here is 14.2 to 14.6. And then for uh, float, 13.4 to 13.8. So mine's a little bit on the low side, but I think it will just uh, be fine here. So far it seems to be working just fine. Let's check the uh, temperature here again and see what it's got on there. All right, nice. It's now showing, see if I can get it to focus here. There you go, zero Celsius. It is continuing to warm up. So let me just give this a few minutes and we will come back here and see what the temperature is. But so far it has not increased the percentage of voltage or uh, charge and um, it is improve the temperature. So let's just let it sit here for a while and see what happens. I have about 120, 530 watts coming in. It's uh, dropped down to 13.7 on the battery, which makes me think maybe we are back up and running. Let's see here. Yes, we're now at four degrees Celsius here, and it is charging on the status, which means we have finally reached the temperature that it likes, and then it can now charge. So 13.59 volts, 58%. So this is doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's got 10.1 amps coming in. Nice, so it's heated up pretty good. Now uh, it is cloudy outside, or else we would normally be seeing somewhere around 250 or more watts on this. Um, but this Herlai bat has, uh, protected the battery whenever it's cold out. And as soon as it warms the battery up enough, uh, it said uh, five degrees Celsius on the paperwork, but it says four here. Um, so I guess hopefully that is good enough to uh, get this going. I'm gonna let this charge for a few hours and I will come back later and we will see hopefully a full battery and uh, we can close up this video. But so far, this thing is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Protecting the battery whenever it's cold warming it up whenever power is coming in from the solar. And then uh, once it's warm, it begins charging. Anyway, I'll see you back in a couple hours. Temperature got up to 21 degrees Fahrenheit today. Let's see what we've got here on the battery. So once again, I'm going to click here on the app and it has found that the battery is here. Let's see if I can get this in close enough for you to see it. Okay, nice, 100% there on the charge. It is at 10 degrees Celsius, 2.6 amps current, voltage is 13.54, and it is still charging there for the status. And then if I go over here to my charge controller, if it'll focus for you, you can see that it's got uh, 38 watts coming in, 13.7 volts. So that's showing that it's a little bit higher than what the app is showing here. Let's get our multimeter out and see what the battery shows at that point. 13.54, and what was this again? 13.54, nice. It's really nice to see that the app is showing the same as the multimeter. Cool, all right, now that we know this thing is fully charged, let's go ahead and see how well it pulls power. There we go. Let's go ahead and flip on these lights as well. All right, so I've got that studio light with this studio light and then those lights as well. And let's see what we got here. So we've got, looks like 101 watts coming in. And then if we check the app again, We've got 13.5 uh, volts, 1.2 amps. So it's pulling that with no problems whatsoever. And uh, oh, the temperature is now 9C down here. And just to make sure, 13.5 on the app, we should be getting the same here on this as well. 
Yep, 13.5. Consistency, that's nice. All right, when I unplug this, and then plug this back up here into my receptacle. Oop, that's always backwards. Okay, now we should see this be even more focus. Yeah, 130 watts coming in from the panel. So definitely is pulling from that battery just fine. Because it's winter time now, I'm going to leave this Reliabat plugged up to my off-grid system here. I think it will be much safer than using my other battery that does not have a low temperature heating system. So if you want to check out this battery, I have a link in the description down below. This battery was sent to me for this video to test out, and I can say that the functionality is working as it's supposed to. Did not charge whenever it was below 32 degrees. And then as soon as the power was hooked up from the panels, it uh, used that power at 14.4 uh, volts and uh, what was it, 4.7 amps, I think, to uh, heat the inside of this battery up. And uh, once it reached basically four degrees Celsius, it was able to then start charging as expected. Also, the app, uh, you have to uh, go into the website for this battery, download the app, and I had to uh, give my phone permissions to install an, a third-party app that wasn't from the, um, the, the Google Store. But if you are on iOS, it is in the uh, app download store, so you shouldn't have any problems there. I had to give permissions inside the app so that it would actually start picking up the battery. But once I did that, then it picks up the battery no problem, and the Bluetooth seems to show all the data that I need here um, without any issues. So uh, from what I can tell, it's a good battery. I will use this throughout the rest of the winter and I'll come back and let you know how it's doing. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Landa House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.